you uh, spoke out against Barack Obama before the 2008 election. Is that true? That's right. And so where and when and why did you speak out against him? So what happened was over in New York City, there's a radio station, it's a Christian, uh, Christian radio station on AM, and Jay Sekulow's on. Hey, you know, Jay Sekulow was screaming bloody murder, you know. This guy has a faulty birth certificate. This guy doesn't have a social security number. He was born in Kenya, and he went to Indonesia as a Muslim. How can, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. This sounds way too out there. I, <laughs> and, and I wasn't, I was just a liberal by default, because, you know, you're brown, and you live in the north, and white people hate you, and right. that's, you're just liberal by default. Right. So... I said, let me look into this. So I, I, I just, a simple Google search says, yeah, this guy goes to a church led by a guy named Jeremiah Wright. What does he believe? Wow, he hates white people and he hates America and he wants us all dead. Yeah, birth certificate has three different uh, fonts on it and it's bent. That's a graft. I know it because Cuban gangsters were around my house all the time. I know what a forged document looks like. <laughs> uh, the social, I researched that the first three numbers of the social right. uh, dictate what state you were born in. He was born in Hawaii. Why is it a Connecticut? And, and I'm like, no, this guy's just, I can't vote for this guy. And did your career suffer as a result of that? Absolutely. And in what way? So a good example of how was on Facebook, I had about 33,000 fans, and uh, it dwindled down to 10 overnight. Really? Yeah, because, because of this, a, uh, I think, I don't know if it was a Saudi sheik or some guy from, <laughs> from Saudi Arabia, tweeted out that I and Ted Nugent, are Israeli loving rock stars and we should not you should not listen to them and I'm like this guy's nobody it's no big deal 20,000 fans the next day a lot of stuff started happening uh, all of a sudden contracts started failing I would get a casting and I'm right there and all of a sudden they would tell me sorry sir we can't use you yet we can't use you we can't use you. so I started losing all these castings and uh, friends started disappearing and, and it was all because I, I don't know how these people get this information around. Right. But once you come out against, you know, the establishment, they know. Some, somehow people know. And yeah. so why would you do that knowing that it would destroy your career? Because while I was turning to God, I, I'm just one of those people. I'm not willing to, to, to go along with the herd and to, to, to do something that I know is wrong. Right. I'm like, I can't do this. I, but, I don't have it in me. But you would not have been going along with it by not speaking out about it, you would just, within yourself, you would disagree with what Obama was about, but not lose your livelihood over it. Right. And that was an amateur mistake. Yeah. Today, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. If, if I was the man I am today, uh, I wouldn't do that. Because remember, I was, you know, I was without God, and uh, I was traumatized. And it's almost like living like with, with a spiritual PTSD. You have no idea... Yeah. When you're, you're in that fog, that spiritual fog, you have no idea what, what direction up and down is. And you're trying because there's a piece of you, uh, you know, God put his, his commandments on your heart. So some, sometimes you get right and wrong right. Yeah. You know, you're like, no, 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 I can't do this. And, and you try and then you fail. And you try again and you fail. But when you got God, you try and you succeed. Would you suggest to other entertainers that they not speak out about politics? They keep that to themselves. Yeah, yeah. So there is no benefit for yeah. you beating the drum for or against Donald Trump, for or against Obama, for or against, people don't want to uh, hear that. If you're a musician, they want to hear you play music. If you're That's an actor, right. they want to see you act. I don't want to know who they vote for, R who they Rookie liberal or Democrat, uh, Republican right. or whatever. Just entertain me because it's not going to do me any good anyway knowing how you voted. Right. It was a rookie mistake and I would never do it again. Yeah. I, I, if somebody, you know challenges me or asks me, you know, well, where do you lean? I'll tell them. But going out of my, like, I was proselytizing, Jesse. I was like, you can't vote for this guy. <laughs> and everything that came out, and it's, it's maybe a tranny. His wife thought a tranny. That's and, crazy. Like, I was, yeah. <laughs> and the world basically imploded. 